good morning. So I'm going to show you how I create a nine grid or any other different kind of grid, if you like, uh, on my laptop, okay, using canva.com. Okay. Now, if you've not used Canva before, um, when you when you go to it for the first time, um, it may need to you may need to sign up, uh, but you can just use the free features. You don't have to use the premium uh, ones, the paid for ones. Okay. There's a good selection of free things in there. Okay. So uh, don't be put off by the fact that it's asking you perhaps to, to have a create a login, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, so when you go to the main thing on Canva, um, there's all sorts of things that you can do. And Canva's great for creating posters, you know, um, cards, flyers, whatever you like, all sorts of things. Okay. Um, and there are pre, you know, sort of ones that are already done for you, which you can just edit. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a grid. All right. So I'm going to do it as if I were doing it for the first time. So what I would do, uh, we're in the main home thing here. Okay. Um, so what we just do, sort of you got recommended, you got like, so just usually go like, if you go for social media, okay. Uh, and then if you go Instagram post, okay, it'll give you a square shape. Okay, so we've got a square, a white square there, okay. Now over on the left, you've got things like uploads, photos, elements, text, all of that kind of stuff, okay. Uh, we're going to click on elements, okay. And then within elements, you've got recently used things. You can see I've used like my Santa hat and stuff. You've got shape, if you scroll down, shapes, frames, charts, you've got grids, okay. So go to grids, click on see all, okay, and you'll see a whole load of different ones, okay. So... If we keep going down to where it starts off with threes, twos and then threes, and then it goes into fours, uh, and then right at the bottom, um, it will be in nines um, eventually. Where we go, we'll find the nine. Where is it? Here we go, we go, we go. So there's loads, you can see how many different things there are. Look, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So I'm going to click on that. So I've got my nine squares here, okay? Then we're going to go to uploads. OK, now this is where uh, you upload your pictures into this little library. OK, um, so if you haven't got any pictures in there and you're new to it, you click upload media uh, and then you click on device. OK, uh, and then you find them on your computer. OK, and you put them into there. OK, uh, now I'm going to use ones I've already put in there just because it's easier. OK, we we'll just choose some random stuff. I'll just go down a bit. Uh, see what there is. Okay, so I'm just going to, what, and then all you need to do is just drag some pictures in, okay, into this nine grid. So there's all sorts in my in my thing here. Um, but yeah, so let's just do a, we'll do it, or let's do a, a nine, we can do a nine of Ted look, okay. So you just get them and you just drag them into the one that you want, okay. Um, so let's just put a few in here. We'll sort them out in a minute. Let's put that one in there. That's the same one. We'll sort that out. So if you put one in, you think, well, actually, I don't want that there. You could just drag another one, and put it in instead. Okay. Um, what have we got? I don't know. There we go. We got this one. There we go. So you said plenty. There's no shortage <laughs> of pictures. Ten. Right. Okay. So I um, mean, one more. One more. Let's go for. Uh, which ones haven't I got? I don't know. Uh, these ones, fluffy ears. Okay. Yeah, so, you, so you've got them in there. Now what you can do is you can double click on a picture and then you can move it about, okay? So you can move it, you could drag the corners if you want to make it bigger, okay? Um, so you can do that kind of thing, okay? Um, and then just click on the done, there's a tick up there, that's it. Um, and you can, if you move, try and move the whole thing, you can move the whole thing. Um, if you do something by mistake and you don't like what you've done, there's a little backward arrow up here uh, and you can just click sort of backwards to say I undo that. Okay, but yeah, you can you can drag things and resize things and move things around. But double click the picture first before you move it, and then you won't move the whole thing. Okay, so you can just move them how you want, uh, just really quickly. Move some of these about. In the middle. Yeah, so you can get them exactly you know how you want them to be. It's just this is just a rough thing, so. Uh, that's say so that's fine. Okay. Now what you can also do is if you click on the whole whole thing, one click, you get things like effects. Okay. So you can there's all sorts of weird stuff. But if you go filter, um, if you want to change it to black and white, you can change it. It does one square at a time. Okay. So you have you can change one. So if you just wanted to have like um, you know, like your four corners. Uh, if you want to make it back to color, just go none. 
Um, so if you wanted to have like, you know, several uh, in black and white, you can. So we go that one, that one, that one, that one, and then let's put that back to colour. Yeah, so you can do that. Uh, or you can go on to adjust and you can adjust things like if you want to do the brightness um, or anything like that. So you can click on one. And then you can adjust the brightness or the contrast. Yeah, so this one is adjusted oh, it's because it's adjusted it for the black and white. So that's why some of those are already adjusted. But you can click on them and just, you know, adjust them how you want them to be um, like that. OK, so that's really as simple as it is. It's as easy as that. Um, so it's just dragging them in. OK, um, and then when you're done, if you click on download. OK, now you have a, a number of options. Now, if I'm just putting pictures on Instagram and Facebook, I'll just save it as a PNG, that is absolutely fine. If I want to print it or want something higher quality, I'll go to PDF, you know, PDF print, but um, and that can give you a bit of a higher quality. But for generally, for things like Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff, then, you know, PNG is great, okay? So you can use it on there, or there's your JPEG, that kind of thing, all right? So you just download it, so I'll just do it as the PNG, click that, and then download it. It won't let you sort of, um, resize things uh, unless you're in the paid for version but um, for what I, I mean I use this all the time just the free version okay uh, and then that's done and then that will pop up you can just close that um, and it will appear in your downloads on your computer okay so that's how we created the nine grid all right um, you can go back to home okay um, and then what you'll find is that um, if you go all your designs okay it will appear in there okay so, and then if you wanted to do a different nine grid another time, just go to there and go on the three little dots in the corner, click on that and go make a copy, okay? Because then it does a duplicate and that one, the one, the original one you did will be still be in your library, okay? Uh, you can click on that um, and then you can just drag different pictures in. Let's my computer's a bit slow this morning. Um, so you can just drag different stuff in there if you wanted to. So you can say, oh, I'll have that one there and that one there and you know, whatever you want, you know, you can, you know, just drag stuff in like that. OK, so that's in Canva. Give it a go because there's loads of great stuff in Canva um, that you can do. So if you need to create things like posters or, you know, anything like that, um, there's all sorts of different stuff that you can do. So have a bit of an explore, um, all sorts of stuff in there. But what you'll find is that the free stuff, let me see if I can find, if I click on here, um, I'll show you. Usually, the free the free stuff is is it just comes up sort of normal, but you know ones that you have to pay for, say premium, or sometimes they'll have a crown on, or, or you know to indicate it's a premium premium one. But anything that doesn't um, is um, is free. Okay. Um, so and when you're in those preset things, just to show you whilst we're there quickly, is you can just click on and delete you know things you don't want. Um, complete that. Complete that whole block. Really. Like that, yeah, and you can add stuff in. So it's quite good for creating all sorts of stuff in there. But that's canva.com. Um, have some fun, have a go, and see how you get on.